Good, so I think we're all set to begin. Our first speaker is Linda Franklin. She is a writer, a licensed clinical social worker, and a psychotherapist. Linda is also a birth mother of a son given up for adoption. She has just completed her memoir called I'll Always Carry You, a mother's story of adoption, loss, grief, and healing. So here is Linda Franklin. Adoption is anything but happy. It's time that changed. My reunion has not been easy. Over nearly 20 years, it has been and remains a complicated up and down process, but I will never regret pursuing it. A lot in my religious training didn't stick, but this verse did. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. I gave birth on March 7th, 1964. And two weeks later, I signed the papers, um, relinquishing my child. I never saw my baby. I never held my baby. They didn't tell me what the sex of my child was. And I was supposed to forget about it and move on as if it had never happened. Um, on my 18th birthday, I felt as if my life had no purpose. So I spent the better part of my adult life trying to be perfect. I was the perfect wife. I was the perfect mother. I was the perfect daughter-in-law. And it all worked for a long time, except I felt like a liar. I felt like a total imposter. It's important for me to continue giving back. Yes, I still have PTSD, and yet I feel liberated. Um, and that's Really, I asked the question yesterday about healing. Um, I guess I'm about as healed as I'm ever going to get. But to put what I've learned into somebody else's hands is the only gift I have left to give. Um, you know, I'm getting on there in age. I don't know how much time I have left, but I want to spend every last moment I have on this earth leaving a legacy. We have one more speaker, and that is Jeanette Yaw. So Jeanette is also a therapist. She has an MA and an MFT, but she's also the executive director and the founder of the Celia Center. This is the beginning of a journey of me discovering, understanding, and having compassion for what my birth mother went through. And I'm still learning what happened to her and what happened to me. And it is a lifelong process of exploration. It takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of resiliency. It takes a lot of crying. I've cried buckets. I do believe it was my birth mother who gave me this courage and has passed on her legacy to me to straighten out what went wrong. Because a lot went wrong, and I only had a reunion with her 10 years ago. It was overwhelming, and at the same time exhilarating to know and learn and find out who she was. I have pulled so deep in the well, and I continue to pull and work through it, and here to share my story and hope, hope that other adoptees that are here feel inspired to search. And that's why I started the Adopt Salon support group that I run, because we need each other. We're a community. Celia Center has helped so many people, and I feel blessed that her spirit, I said, what do I name this organization so that I will keep it meaningful and purposeful, like, why am I doing this? Celia Center. Because people always go, why is it Celia Center? Go, oh, well, how much time do you have? <laughs> <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs>